Good morning, everyone. This is Tim Wilmot speaking from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for this presentation to show you the capabilities of Workbook CRM, what areas of your, what key areas of your business it can address, and how my company, Wizard Systems, can help you with any CRM, CRM implementation there. Now, we run these presentations every week, normally on a Friday, focusing on different aspects of CRM and workbooks. And today we're going to look, look a little bit more closely at how you manage your activities, how you control your working day with a system like Workbooks. Now this presentation will be approximately 30 minutes or so. It's just a basic session. Everyone uses CRM in different ways. Everyone's got different requirements. And I wouldn't have enough time this morning to go over all of the extensive capabilities of Workbooks. So after this session, if you want to explore Workbooks in more detail, Please get in touch with us uh, at Wizard Systems UK, and we'd love to organize a more of a one-to-one -one session with you and your colleagues. Now, also on the call today, we've got some people already trialing workbooks, so they may know a fair bit already about the interface and its capabilities and how you manage activities. So excuse me if I'm going over um, things that you already know. I need to go at the speed of the slowest, so to speak. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. Your microphone is on mute. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question section on your meeting control panel. You should see that in the top right corner of your screen, and I'll do my best to answer those at the end of the session. Now, also, this presentation is being recorded. After the session, you'll receive an email with a link to recording, and uh, you can view at your leisure and we'll probably put it up on YouTube as well. Okay, so let's get started then. Just a brief mention about my company, Wizard Systems, first of all. We are an independent reseller of CRM systems. This is all we do here. We've been doing it a long time. We've got a tremendous amount of experience. We've implemented well over 3,000 installations all over the UK and further afield. And as you may know, Workbooks is an online system uh, you you subscribe to it. There's nothing to install. And we have clients that do set it up themselves, teach themselves how to use it. But we're, we're here on hand to assist you in any part of an implementation. Maybe it's migrating data from an old system, Excel spreadsheets or similar into workbooks, customizing it to your requirements, uh, integrating with other applications, uh, we, we cover we have, we have an extensive range of additional services that might be of use to you. Or we could we could actually implement the whole system for you. If you don't want to do anything yourselves, we can do the whole thing for you once we understand your requirements. We can provide full training as well, uh, training at your premises, or you can come to our offices in Bristol. Or we can do it online. And finally, ongoing support. You're not on your own. We're just a short phone call away. We have a, a, an active help desk here. Um, so so any, if anything happens, any queries that you've got about workbooks, uh, we can sort those out with a minimum of inconvenience to yourself and your company. OK, so the key thing we want to get at is what, what are the overall objectives of using workbooks? Um, what are you looking to achieve? What issues are you looking to solve? Are you looking to improve your sales process, improve your marketing, customer service, manager reporting, um, the quotation process? Th th those are the key things we want to drive at so that we're able to measure how effective uh, Workbooks is, how, how the investment in Workbooks is going to be for your company. What is Workbooks? Well, it's an easy-to-use, affordable central application to manage all the information about your business contacts, your activities, your interactions with those people. That's what we're going to be talking about today in one central place. There's some marketing tools in there as well to help you be more proactive and targeted in your communications to customers. Unusually for a CRM system, not many CRM systems do this, we're able to manage the quotation and order process. There are two different editions of workbooks. When you sign up for workbooks proper, there are two different editions. There's CRM edition and business edition. Business edition allows you to create orders and invoices, the financial stuff, if you like. Um, but, but any edition will allow you to go up to quote stage. 
Do you have a customer service department? Do you have engineers, technicians, a help desk? So they too could be using workbooks. So you're truly sharing information over all of your customer facing teams with sales and marketing and customer support all working on the same page. Now, as well as workbooks being a great personal productivity tool uh, to, to make you more efficient and responsive to customers, it's a management tool as well to help you make decisions and control the business. And workbooks is a UK system, 100% cloud, nothing to install, all the data is in the UK. It's very, very secure. Workbooks has been certified in all the six releases of the G Cloud government certification program in the UK. Um, so this is a, a certification level set by UK government. If you're central government or local government, you can't use a system unless it, it meets these security uh, requirements. And Workbooks is very popular. It's won CRM in the UK. It's won CRM product of the year, 2013, 2014, 2015. And if you've seen any reviews out on the web, a very good website is g2crowd.com. A bit like the TripAdvisor in the uh, IT sector. Have a look up there and you'll see loads of independent reviews. And Workbook scores very highly in the ease of use and user satisfaction categories. So just focusing on contact management, you have with Workbooks a ready-made database. Essentially, Workbooks is a, is a database to help you store information about your leads, your prospects, your customers, and your suppliers. It's very customizable as well. Shortly, when I take you into the system, most of the screens we see can be changed. You can easily change it. No programming required. It's very, very simple for you to change things and adapt it to your business. Also, there's lots of different levels of security in there as well. So if you if you do, uh, of course, with the Serum system, you're trying to make things open and you're sharing information. But we do have users of workbooks that do have maybe different sales teams and sales team A can't see sales team B's activities, for example. Uh, you can also do that as an option with workbooks. So you're managing all of your activities in workbooks. It controls your working day, your phone calls, your meetings, your tasks, and other types of activities can all be tracked in workbooks, stored automatically against the client or organization you're dealing with, thereby building up a wonderful history over time of everything that you've done and your colleagues have done with that customer, which can be really invaluable when, from a customer service point of view, when you want to go back to your client's record or they call and you want to see what was the last thing that happened, what things are outstanding with that customer. Um, so it's so a great way of, of, of focusing in on, on a client. And also, because we're tracking activities by user, looking at other users activities so you're maintaining an activity list a diary a calendar in the system of all of your tasks for a given day or time period so you can easily see your activities but also you can see other people's activities as well you can delegate activities to other colleagues they can delegate activities to you you're truly sharing activity information related to that is our emails of course uh, uh, if if uh, a key part of your customer interactions of our email, we can interface with any email system. There's a very nice optional Outlook integration um, supplied uh, that can be supplied with workbooks. This is optional. It's called the Outlook Connector. That's if the uh, official name that Workbooks gives it. And this integrates your emails with Outlook and also allows you to share the calendars between the two systems. So there's a calendar in Workbooks, and there's a calendar of obviously in Outlook, and uh, you, you can share the information. So you type, you type information in once, and that activity transfers to the other system automatically. If you make a change to that task or appointment, say in Outlook, that change will be visible for you back in workbooks. So uh, a great way of saving information and making sure that this activity information spawns out into other systems. And you may be 
a mobile person, you, you, you may want to access workbooks from your smartphone or tablet. This is all included in your subscription. There's a downloadable app as well. So when you're out and about, you still can be on top of your activities and uh, in real time accessing your client and activity information. Marketing, quick mention of marketing. I've, I'll go through some of these other aspects of workbooks briefly for you. So marketing, a lot of people are getting into email marketing now and you, you have an easy way of getting data into workbooks and out of workbooks. So if you've got an Excel spreadsheet or you've just visited a show or you've bought in a database, you can easily upload that information into workbooks. We can integrate with your website. So if there's a form on your website for uh, inviting a new inquiry to contact you about a uh, service or product, that form can be linked to workbooks. And with a little bit of workflow in workbooks, uh, workbooks can be very clever with, with workflow to get it to do things automatically. 24-7, it can be made to do things automatically for you. So these incoming leads by by via the web are automatically created as leads in workbooks and a, a, a user is notified of this, of this new inquiry. Nothing slips through the net. Nothing gets forgotten about. Easy ways of creating lists in workbooks. So before doing any email marketing campaign, you go to workbooks and you pull together easily. All of the people have something in common, some common criteria. And we interface uh, in, in workbooks with three very well-known systems. We are announcing other applications that we link with um, on a regular basis, but the main ones are MailChimp, uh, Constant Contact, and .mailer. So you create your list in workbooks. That list is uploaded to one of these, these uh, three applications. No need to export data or import data. That's a thing of the past. It's all, it's all integrated and Obviously, something like MailChimp will deliver the email campaign to your customers. But importantly, with the integration back into workbooks, we can see what emails our customers have been sent, what they opened, what they clicked through, looking at hard bounce and opt-out information as well. Now, the sales process is a critical thing that we cover with a powerful CRM system like workbooks. And we do focus on this on, on our other weekly presentations, but very briefly, you're managing the lead in workbooks. You're 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 going through the the negotiation and qualification stages in workbooks, of course. And then when you come to doing a, if you need to do a quote, that can be done through through workbooks. An easy way of managing the whole quote process. Storing your price list in in workbooks. You can import your prices into workbooks as well, if they come from another area. You've got lots of uh, different quote layout options as well. Uh, for different quotation situations and all fully integrated with the opportunity management system which is in a way is sort of linked to keeping on top of your activities so these key sales projects they would be a focus of a salesperson's working day as well as their sales calls and meetings staying on top of uh, overdue sales opportunities and projects and your sales forecast um, to make sure again nothing slips through the net and then if you're using the business edition Looking at the sales process, you can then convert the quote to, an, to a sales order, convert the order to an invoice. You're, you're, you're tracking the whole sales process through with workbooks from the initial sales lead to raising the invoice, fulfilling the product, and receiving the customer's money, um, the complete business cycle there. Quick mention about customer service. Uh, again, we do feature this on other weekly presentations, but an easy way of logging customer service calls, very customizable, nothing slips through the net. You can then see trends of these issues, what types of problems you're getting. And of course, with, with, for a customer support person, this is a key thing for them to, to, to use to, to stay on top of outstanding cases or tickets. Uh, if you do have any service orientated people in your company how do they track information right now are they tracking in an excel some old access database or in their head or in a manual form this is a smarter way of working so last slide before we dive into the demo proper of course you can now see that uh, workbooks is a comprehensive system to manage all of your sales activities in one easy to use application nothing is outside of 
of workbooks unless you're using say the Outlook integration where we automatically can integrate with that. Tracking your opportunities. It's a reporting system as well. We have a report writer supplied with workbooks. I'll show you that briefly this morning. And there's about 50 or so ready-made reports to get you going. You can create your own reports as well. And complementary to that are dashboards, nice flashy bar graphs and pie charts giving you as as what, what what is happening right now, it's focusing on key metrics in your business, activity levels, meetings outstanding, and so on. Okay, let's dive into workbooks proper. Apologies again for those people that uh, are already familiar with the interface, but I'm, I'm showing you workbooks this morning in Chrome. We'll work with any browser. We we'll work on an Apple Mac, and also there's a slightly different interface for a smartphone or tablet. But here we are. We've logged into workbooks and you'll recognize it straight away. It looks like your, your Windows desktop. It's got that familiar look and feel straight away. It's easy to use. It's easy to find information. And from that start button down the bottom left-hand corner, here is the start menu. And right in the middle there, this morning we're focusing on how do you manage your activities? Are you managing it right now in Outlook or Excel? or a manual list or some other application that's not integrated with your customer information. Well, this is a key part of workbooks. And what we're seeing here is, if you like, your activity list in this main part of the screen here, your activity list. You can define what columns of information you see here. But essentially, in summary, we're seeing row by row all of the activities up and coming. Now, over on the left-hand side, as per many other screens like this in workbooks, where it, where it shows you views here, this is where you can see different types of activities. If you want to see, for example, all of your high-priority activities, all the activities belonging to colleague Mary, all of your activities relating to uh, a particular product or, or, or whatever the, the, the category might be, you can maintain these lists or views as it's called. And they're created very simply using this filtering facility here where you can drill down and look at any aspect of an activity. So there we are. That's um, your activity list. Now, looking at activities relating to a particular client, well, we could look at, um, we could go into people here, and similar to, as we saw, activities. This is our, our list of all the people in the system. We can dive into a particular person here, Alan Whitehead. And this is a pretty typical display in workbooks. Up pops a window showing all the information about Alan, various tabs across the top there you can have more tabs or less tabs as you wish you can change the sequence of those tabs but activities these are 46 activities that we've recorded against customer Alan and again this summary view these these rows here you can customize what you see here but at a glance we can see what the subject is the type of activity who in our company is doing that activity when is the due date of the activity and we can create new ones from here very simply. In fact, there's, there's a number of ways of, uh, a number of areas where you can create these new activities, but uh, this would be a typical way. You've got the customer record in front of you. You have either just done something with the client, you want to register something, you want to, to schedule some future activity. Uh, very simply, you can do that here. And then up pops a new window called New Phone Call here. And this is the, the, the standard information that workbooks will give you. But workbooks can be customized. This main tab here, you can add on additional information. In fact, in a previous demonstration, this is what I did uh, down here. Do you see? Um, if there was, uh, if I was in a sort of billing type operation, I wanted to track the hourly rate for this uh, activity that could be tracked maybe there. So it is, it's in, in these areas of the screen, you, you can insert your new fields. But essentially, we got the subject of the call here. What's the call all about? Let's uh, type something in here as a subject or reference 
of the call. Of course, you may be working in a team, so you can allocate this call to a user, or you can put it into, if you like, a group of users, a queue. Uh, so if there's a, a group of you that are managing phone calls or a certain type of activity, that could go into a queue, but it defaults to you as the user. What's the type of activity? What's the status? What's the priority? Um, you don't have to use this if you don't want to, but there's a nice little example here of prioritizing these activities. Of course, when is the activity due to take place? You can also schedule, uh, create an alarm linked to this activity, so it's going to further remind you when you log into workbooks. You can also store other information against this activity as well. Save and close, job done, that appears against the, uh, the client's record there. So an easy way of getting activities into workbooks. And also if you're using the, the Outlook integration, um, that's another way of getting those activities in then. So if I now go back to my activity list, just show you another little feature here of customizing the look and feel of your activity list. So here are all of your activities and the, the, the standard columns that I've got set so far. You saw my little example, priority. Maybe I want to see the priority of these activities. So we can easily insert some additional information in here. Here's all of the different columns I could insert spoilt for choice there and right down towards the bottom there's priority so there we are we can now see the priority but maybe we want to group and sort by priority I want to see together all of my high priority activities so there we are a quick way of grouping sorting by that particular column this information could be exported if you've got the access clearance to do that this information could be printed and again, you can store, you can create those those different views there as well. Let me just close down all these windows here. Now, how do you, what are other ways of seeing all of the activities on the go? Maybe you're a manager and you want to see what, what, are, your, what are your sales team up to? How productive are they? Are they staying on top of their activities? Well, there's a reporting, a report writer within workbooks. And I've got an example here of uh, some activity type reports. So all these reports you, you have, you create, you, you have them in, in different uh, sections here. So um, let's look at this one here. Completed activities this week and last. So very quickly, this is now summarizing. Reports are very good at summarizing information. So here we can see all of the people in my company and the total of uh, activities they've done, and then splitting that down by the types of activities there as well. In a similar way, you could also look at dashboards, nice flashy graphical dashboards, and uh, go into, um, they've got different types of dashboards here, but let's pop into this personal dashboard here. And again, you can have uh, more dashboard components or, or less as you wish, but here, a, a, another way of summarizing your activity levels and key things that you want to focus on. So there we are, a quick run through activity management and different ways, uh, by no means extensive, but different ways of staying on top of your activities. So I'd just like to cover pricing of workbooks for those that are not uh, too familiar with the pricing of workbooks. It's an annual subscription. You subscribe to workbooks via an annual payment. And here are the two editions, Serum Edition and Business Edition, uh, plus VAT on top of these prices. It's a named user. So think in your company, who are the customer-facing people that you've got and, and furnish them with a, a, a user license per key user there. There are some optional extras uh, the outlook integration we have integration with sage 50 in the uk multi-currency multi-company a contracts module plus be realistic do you need any assistance in getting the system up and running and or some training or different support options that we've got once we know once we know your requirements we can give you full pricing on that 
Uh, but as I say, that Workbooks is extremely easy to get set up, and there's lots of uh, YouTube videos and help resources out there to get you running. Okay, uh, we've sort of come to a conclusion now, focusing on activities, that just a, a basic overview of Workbooks and focusing this morning on activity management, how do you manage your calls, your customer meetings, tasks, and so on. And now I'd like to open out uh, the presentation to any questions you've got there. So locate your, your question uh, section there. So first question from Ruth. Can you share, can you share activities with Outlook without the Outlook integration? Uh, not easily. If you are using Outlook, I would suggest that you, you go with the Outlook connector, as it's called, the Workbooks Outlook connector. It's, uh, it's a very low cost, and it gives you peace of mind in knowing that uh, any activities you, you put into Outlook will be faithfully transferred over to Workbooks. And Ruth, we do cover the Outlook integration in one of our weekly presentations, or you might catch a previous one up on our YouTube uh, channel. Next question from Jonathan. How do you report on number of emails sent? Well, as long as you've got emails tracked in the Workbooks system, so either via, if you're using Outlook, um, Ruth's question, if you're using the Outlook integration, or via the email Dropbox feature, or your uh, also, Workbooks does have a way of sending out emails directly from the Workbooks application. So if you've got common emails, for example, in a sales process, you take a new inquiry, and the first step is you want to send out a thank you for your inquiry or some company introduction information, or maybe you've got some standard information against your products. You can launch, you can send those emails directly from Workbooks without the need for interfacing or linking to another email system. The bottom line, Jonathan, is if those emails are in the workbook system, you can report on them via report or dashboard. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions coming through there, but thanks, uh, Ruth and Jonathan, for those questions there. Uh, just to summarize, finally, uh, if you need a more detailed presentation, please get in touch with us. Uh, my name is Tim Wilmot. The company is Wizard Systems UK. Our website is wizard-systems.com. There's our phone number. Uh, also remember the, the trial, a free trial of workbooks. You can put it through its paces. If you've got any questions in that trial, please contact us. Um, and there's lots of uh, tutorials and training videos out there as well to get you started. So thanks very much, everyone, for attending this morning. Have a good day. We look forward to speaking with you further about your CRM project. Thanks very much indeed.